Welcome to Valsalva Wave Pro. I'm Steve Elliott. I'll be your tour guide for this first multimedia tutorial on Valsalva Wave Pro titled Getting Started. Once you've installed Valsalva Wave Pro, you'll see the rainbow C icon on the, on the desktop. Double click that and it opens this screen which gives us the options of selecting a client, this refers to an existing client, run a session for a, an existing client or a new client, managing data, uh, referring to sessions that we have already recorded, and exit. Today we are going to run session to explore the basic features and functionalities of Valsalva Wave Pro. Which brings us to the Get Started page. The Get Started page is very much like the home page for a website. <clears throat> and navigation of Valsalva Wave Pro is very much like navigating a website. You can think of this as the home page, and anytime you'd like to return to it, just click Get Started here in the upper left hand corner, highlighted in green. If you're not already familiar with the basic premise of Valsalva Wave Pro, it is an instrument for monitoring a new biometric, this being the wave that is produced in the circulatory system when we breathe coherently. When we breathe coherently, each time we exhale, blood in the arterial tree rises as a consequence of a large volume of blood exiting the lungs through the left heart into the arterial tree, filling the arterial tree with blood, making its way toward the extremities. Each time we inhale, blood in the venous system rises, drawing blood back from the uh, peripheral circulation through the right heart into the lungs. So each time we inhale and exhale coherently, we find this wave action occurs in the circulatory system. If we monitor a terminus, a fingertip, a thumb, an earlobe, a few others on the body, we can see this reflected as an increase in blood volume as a consequence of exhalation and a decrease in blood volume as a consequence of inhalation. In addition to monitoring the Valsalva wave, where we have many different screens uh, demonstrating different views and combinations of views of the blood wave that I just discussed, we have also have heart rate and a large menu of heart rate screens, including a, a large set of heart rate variability measures, <clears throat> um, either alone or in combination with Valsalva wave uh, measures as well. To the right of that is pulse wave. Uh, Valsalva wave pro also affords us a view of pulse wave metrics we're not going to explore actually any of these today. There will be an existing or a, a new tutorial that describes each of the biometrics in more detail a little later on. Today we're just trying to get started. To the right of pulse wave we have simultaneous signals. Here we have a few different menu options that allow us to view the timing differences between the smooth and fast heart rate or Valsalva wave, as well as the timing differences between Valsalva wave and heart rate. This is for uh, research interest for those that really would like to understand clearly the uh, precise timing relationships between these signals. And then to the right of that is help. Help is uh, will take us to the help screen 
which is principally an internet-based screen. If I click here on local, uh, we will access the internet-based help screen, which is an evolving set of information and instructions, frequency, frequently asked questions, and tutorials about Valsalva Wave Pro. You can do all this within the context of the instrument. When you're ready to return to the instrument, just click any one of these tabs, depending on where you are. Right now, we're going to click Get Started to take us back to the Get Started page. Now we're local again, and you can see that from uh, this link here. Let's uh, progress down some of the menu uh, items under Get Started. When we get to basic signals, we'll do a little more exploring of the different features and functions of the instrument. Get Started number one is about the amp and the sensor. The most important thing for me to tell you about the amp and the sensor is that there are two types. Some of you have both ear and finger sensors. If you do, you already know, hopefully, that it is very important that we not mix up the amp and sensor for each type. In other words, the ear sensor must always be plugged into an amplifier for the ear sensor. It is marked in red. A little later on, I'm going to color code the sensors as well with a band around the, uh, the plug here, but I haven't done that yet. The finger sensor or thumb sensor is color coded blue. The finger, the finger sensor must always be plugged into the blue amp. The ear sensor must always be plugged into the red amp. They must never be crisscrossed or exchanged such that the ear sensor is plugged into the blue amp or the finger sensor into the red amp. This has the potential to to permanently damage either or both of the units, which would be unfortunate. One more point before we leave sensors, and that is it is best practice to plug the sensor into the amp, then plug the amp into the PC, then start the Valsava Way Pro application. If you then need to remove the amp and sensor from the PC, shut down the application, pull the amp out of the PC, then unplug the sensor from the amp. This yields the least stress in terms of power up and power down to the amp and sensor and um, may extend the life of the unit in the long run. It's just good practice. So please try to uh, do that when you are able. I think that completes the discussion of the amp and sensor for now. More will be coming on this. In fact, the second option is sensor calibration. I'm not going to open this tab quite yet because it is a work in progress. There are technical challenges to managing or to measuring blood volume in real time. And I'm working through some of those technical challenges now and I have intellectual property, i.e. patents uh, that are in the works on solving some of those problems. So uh, it's best for me not to unveil those solutions quite yet, but that will be forthcoming. Let's go then to basic signals. All of the views of uh, in Valsalva Wave, whether they are Valsalva Wave under the Valsalva Wave menu, the heart rate menu, or the pulse wave menu, are derived from one of these basic signals. The most basic is the Valsalva wave hole, uh, this being the raw output of the wideband plethysmograph that allows us to see basically the action of the blood in the monitored body part. Here, red equals blood. This is currently attached to my right earlobe as I'm speaking, and this is what the blood in my right earlobe is doing right now. The small wave on top, just auto-gained, is the heartbeat, this being the systole, cardiac systole, the valley being the cardiac diastole. The slower wave action is that of autonomic governance of 
the vascular system in combination with the wave produced by my inspiration and expiration as I am speaking. If I were to breathe coherently, we will see this rise and fall dramatically. I'll do that for you uh, in another video on protocol. The panel just below that is the fast.